golf lovers, this video is for you. How about being nearby not one, but four golf courses? We're talking TPC, Wachasaw International Club, and Blackmore. Hey everybody, it's Celia Klein with High Garden Real Estate. Today we are focusing on another Toll Brothers community. This one is called Longwood Bluffs. It's in the master plan community called Prince Creek, and we are in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. That's right, the place that everybody loves. We're only 10 minutes away from Marsh Walk. We're about 15 minutes away from either the Garden City Beach area or Huntington Beach Park, which so many people love. We have seven different floor plans that are offered in this community. The base price is gonna be anywhere between 385 and 501. But don't forget, we talked about this before, you gotta add on those structural options, the lot premium and your design choices before you get to your final price here. These floor plans are lovely. They are located on lots that are on, a, on average about 0.15 to 0.17. They're gonna be small lots, but you know what? My clients, when they move here to find their castle in the sand, they don't want a big yard. They just want a place to relax and have that nice rear porch, and we've got those in spades here. Are you ready to learn more about this community? Let's go take a look. Boy, does Toll Brothers know how to deck out a model home. We are currently inside the Magnolia floor plan. So this one is gonna be part of the Wilderness Collection. Again, remember, Wilderness, Coastal. Wilderness has four different floor plans to choose from. The Magnolia is actually a two-story. Its little sister is called the Madison floor plan. So again, Madison, one level, and Magnolia. I feel like I should have a Southern accent when I say that, the Magnolia. Um, you know, front porch, like I should have a mint julep or something, right? I don't even know what's in those. <laughs> but anyway, we've got that front porch we've got a rear porch there's just so many beautiful things here so with this one again 2300 ish heated square feet you start off with a second floor that has a bonus room but you can change that so it is an actual bedroom and full bath the option is absolutely worth the money they have so many features in here we have to go take a look let's go Now, one thing you're gonna notice about the wilderness collection, when you think wilderness, let's think tall trees. So this one, higher ceiling height. We're gonna have a 10 foot ceiling on the main level on your floor plans in the wilderness collection. And in that coastal collection, they're gonna be nine foot ceilings. Now, a couple of things here, you're seeing some amazing light fixtures. Those are not included. They're actually from restoration hardware, but there are so many other things you are seeing here that in fact can be selected in the design center. So the Magnolia is one of the most popular floor plans here. It starts off as a three bedroom, two bath with bonus room, but check out what we've got here. This upstairs is really adding a significant amount of square footage. I have so many of you who are moving to this area and you're not just thinking about you living here, you're telling me you plan on having lots of visitors, you know, grandchildren maybe, and you want a place for them to be able to watch TV or movies, just play, so that you have your routine downstairs, well, this is the perfect option. So some people, once you've done, again, base price, lot premium, structural addition, like this bedroom and bath up here, as well as your design choices, you could get to 700 on this particular floor plan. One of the favorite places of most people who tour this Magnolia model floor plan, well, right here, the owner's ensuite bath. 
Do you see that shower? I mean car wash. I mean shower. Just look at all the different things, different kinds of shower heads, different kind of tile. You get to do all of these choices when you do a 2B built, meaning starting from scratch. They also have spec homes or inventory homes, and we're filming this in April of 2024, and currently they have nine spec homes available. So if you're going, I don't have time, or who, Celia, those choices, they get overwhelming, and I don't wanna see how much they cost. Well, then you definitely wanna go the route of an inventory home. They started off with 400 home sites here. They're down to 55, so hurry up. Okay, here we are in the second furnished model. This one's called the Drew. And I may be repeating myself, but this is again a part of the Coastal Collection. Keep in mind the Coastal Collection, those are the ones that are gonna be the wider floor plans and therefore they're usually gonna be bigger in square footage. The Drew, one level living. And that's gonna be anywhere from 2100 to 2300 heated square feet. If you do want that upstairs, the Big Brother floor plan is called the Owen. That's initially gonna offer the bonus room, but you could do the option to turn that into a bedroom and have a full bath. Lots of choices here. So this Drew, oh my goodness, right off the bat, look at this kitchen. It is so dreamy, everyone falls in love with it. That butler pantry behind me, as well as you've got a big pantries for storage here. You have so many options to consider. This one, you've got currently a finished sunroom or Carolina room as we like to call it here in South Carolina. But you could be turning several of these things where you have that opening into the Carolina room. That could be sliders that lead into a rear porch space. They still have a rear porch here as you can see, but again, I'm trying to give you those ideas. There are so many both structural and design options. The Drew floor plan, the base price starts in around 466, but once you add in a lot premium, structural options, as well as your design upgrades, you may be looking at a home that could be in the mid fives to possibly 600. You wanna take a look, let's take a look around. The Drew floor plan is the smallest in the Coastal Collection. Your standard ceiling height is nine feet. Uh, this is a three bedroom, two bath. You have an option of doing a powder room option. And don't forget, you can put sliding doors in here. Again, many, many options to choose from. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, you know that I have covered a Toll Brothers community previously. That was in Saybrook. And we talked about how their model homes have these beautiful, different decor. And I wanna make sure that we talk about what's included and what's not included. A really quick point here, they're one of the few builders that actually will do some of that fancy stuff. So the shiplap that we're seeing here, as well as that gorgeous stained coffered ceiling back behind me, they will actually do that as an option in your design visit. So here's something I wanted to point out really quickly. So a lot of you who are walking at new construction homes with me, it's always pointed out that the switch for the garbage disposal, well, that's usually located in the cabinet underneath the sink. Well, here's another way to look at it. When you have this smooth countertop like this, they actually have a button right here that you can depress to turn on the garbage disposal and then press it again to turn it off. Nice and sleek, no opening a cabinet door. Kind of fancy, don't you think? There's some great reasons to walk model homes. One of the most course is to get a great visual. It's to see the size of the rooms. Is your furniture gonna fit in these spaces? Also, it's about ideas, right? While Toll Brothers certainly offers a lot of design choices, they may not offer everything you see, but it gets those creative juices flowing to see what kind of things you might do. I mean, look, wallpaper is back. We've got a lamp that matches my blouse. Of course we do that on purpose, right? And then bonus points for a builder who always incorporates the doggy into their decor. Always bonus points with me. 
talk about a spa bath. Oh my goodness. So there are a couple things in here that are Celia personal favorites. I can't help it. So one of them is going to be these blue or navy color cabinets. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Now I have fallen in love with the kind of brushed or matte gold for the cabinet hardware. Obviously it is chrome here, but oh, it just looks so clean and crisp, doesn't it? So very coastal. Also framed mirrors in the owner's bath are included. Also one of the things I wanted to point out here, I love how they have laid the tile here on the floor. Usually everybody's just used to one way, either vertical or horizontal, but we've got a herringbone pattern here with an, a big piece of tile. And I just think it makes it look so elegant, don't you? So we lucked out one of their inventory homes that's almost done is available for us to show to you. This one is called the Wren Floor Plan, W-R-E-N. And what I wanna tell you about this one, I am so impressed with the many structural options available. Now this one, of course, all those decisions are taken care of. This one has got a sunroom that's really adding some great heated square footage. Normally the Wren Floor Plan is gonna start at around 1700 heated square feet. But this one, once they've again added that sun room, you are all the way up to 1898 heated square feet. This is a part of the wilderness collection and that's going to have 10 foot ceilings. So that really does bring in a more elegant and grand look to this floor plan. You start off with three bedrooms and two full baths. There is an option to add a fourth bedroom. This is all on one level, everybody. So you really do have a lot of room to roam. I also wanna tell you about this particular floor plan. If you wanted to do a 2B built, they have five different elevations for just this one floor plan. And so when I talk elevation, I think you remember, that means I'm talking about what the front of the home looks like, types of materials that might be used, brick, stone, etc. And I tell you, because of this wide variety of elevations offered for each floor plan, the curb appeal in this community is probably some of the best I've seen. You may recall, if you've watched some of my other videos, that I used to work for Toll Brothers many years ago when I lived in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I always loved the different terminology that they taught me about how I am showing a house to potential clients. And so they're the ones who told me about, remember, ventilated shelving? Do you remember that? Well, now we've got a new one. Instead of this behind me being referred to as the breakfast area, they call it the cafe. I kind of like it, like we're having French coffee or something. What do you think? Also, we've got a natural gas community. Didn't know if you'd notice that for the gas cooktop over there, wanted to point that out. Also, tankless gas hot water heaters. They're gonna be located on the outside of the home. And some, in this case here, you're seeing a gourmet kitchen layout for this space. Isn't that cool? Now here's a feature I'm seeing in a couple of their floor plans that I really like. I've seen it in the Drew and here again in the Wren, and that is the connection point from the owner's bath into their walk-in closet and then proceeding into the laundry space. What convenience, right? So here's a structural option in the Wren that I wanted to point out. They call it the workshop. It's a portion of the garage that clearly extends further back from the normal part of the garage where your vehicles are gonna park. You could make that a bedroom. Yes, that's right. They'll take that square footage and turn it into finished heated square footage, making it a four bedroom floor plan. You know what I think it would be great for? That golf cart you know you wanna bring here. Lots to decide, right?
you may see behind me that this one is obviously facing up against the back of another home. So that means the lot premium for this one is probably pretty low. And so we've got lot premiums ranging anywhere from 10 all the way up to 90,000. That 90,000 obviously is gonna be much more private, either facing a wooded area or maybe a beautiful pond area. You know how I'm always trying to teach you a little bit more each day about new construction? Well, today's new construction term is going to be capital contribution. Many of you are coming from areas that you're going, I have no idea what you're talking about. And yet here, they are predominant in most of our communities. Capital contribution is going to be a one-time fee paid as a part of your closing costs. Those are going to help build up the reserves of the community so that when a capital project, say if it's a gated community and you wanna have a uh, resurface of your roads, that might be one, or say when it comes to your amenities and you need to resurface the pool area, those are the types of capital, con or capital projects that a community might have, that if they have those reserves, it might be easier to pay for them through that than they would if they did what's known as a special assessment. So again, capital contribution, they can range greatly. In this particular community, it's around $500. Again, you're paying it one time. Now, here's another key point. If you were to, in many cases, move into a community that has those, but you're buying a resale and not a new construction, guess what? You're still paying that capital contribution, again, just one time. Toll Brothers is the only builder I'm aware of in this area that actually paints the ceiling of your porches a shade of blue. Did you notice that? Well, there's actually a reason for that. The tale goes that if you paint it a light blue, it wards off evil spirits. I can assure you there are no evil spirits here. What I see here are happy, relaxed spirits. And one of the reasons are the great amenities. So this Longwood Bluff community shares an amenity area with other communities within Prince Creek. You have a beautiful outdoor pool area, an outdoor pavilion with a picnic tables. You of course have those tennis courts and pickleball, everybody's new favorite in the last few years. And that is included in your HOA, which is only $89 a month. It also includes your trash pickup. While it does cover the landscape for the common areas within the community, it does not take care of your landscaping of your own personal property. But fear not, if you need a landscaper, I got a guy or 12 easily. Now, we have been going through this information. It's a lot, I know, but I do this on purpose to introduce you to communities in our area in different towns that you all let me know you're interested in. Don't forget, it is incredibly important, especially if you wanna save some money on incentives, to let them know that you are with a real estate agent. That's me, Celia Klein. A lot of builders wanna know that from the very first moment you give them a call. So instead of talking to them, just let me do all of the legwork for you. Celia Klein, High Garden Real Estate, 843-321-9646. And hey, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, that's at Carolina Coast TV, you better do that right now because there are all kinds of videos about new construction communities and our local towns to make sure you are making a great choice about your castle in the sand. Thanks very much for watching.